Welcome to how to be more productive using Mechanical from our ANSYS how-to video series. ANSYS Mechanical enables you to solve large assemblies engineering problems and make better and faster engineering decisions. While Mechanical is a very powerful numerical simulation tool, there is a lot of ease of use and automated features that can make modeling of large assemblies faster, easier, and more efficient. We will demonstrate how to be more productive in ANSYS Mechanical by following the walkthrough example. Let's go! Setting up analysis of complex assemblies can be challenging, but there are various key ways in which Mechanical can help you become more productive. Ease of use features, automation of repetitive tasks, organizing and managing data. While we can't hope to cover everything in this video, we will highlight some of the most important capabilities that we can't live without, and ones that we think that will make you use the software tool more effectively. The geometry represents the rear axle assembly and consists of 55 individual parts, four main parts and 51 bolts. Let us first investigate the very basic controls, the mouse controls, and how they can help us to work easily on the model. You can use the middle mouse button to freely rotate the model. Use middle mouse button plus control button to pan the model. Pressing the shift plus middle mouse button helps us to zoom. Scrolling the mouse wheel helps to zoom in and zoom out. Hold and drag the right mouse button to have a box zooming effect. One can click right mouse button and the context menu will pop in the graphics window, which will give easy access to isometric view controls, fit and standard views built-in. In Mechanical, there are a lot of drop-down selections. Instead of clicking on the down arrow, double-clicking the current selection cycles to the next item in the drop-down list. Let's see how we can organize the outline tree. Group the bolts. Using shift click to select all bolts and using right mouse click to group the bolts in the separate folder in the outline tree. Rename new folder to bolts. Now we will focus on how to select different geometric entities. The four main parts are made from aluminum alloy. We will assign the material to four main parts all at once, which is much faster than individual assignment. Shift plus select to select all four parts and change material to aluminum alloy under material assignment. We can highlight geometry branch in the tree and go to the worksheet view to list parts details. You can see that bolts are made of structural steel which is the default material and doesn't have to be changed in this example. In this example, we will apply internal pressure into the central part of the axle. We will utilize selection planes and selection extend feature to easily make the selection. For the fast reorientation of the model, we can use triad. By clicking on the Z axis, the model is oriented normal to the Z direction. Select the front outside face of the central part first. The number of selection planes shows up in the lower left corner. Instead of picking the internal face on the geometry, we can make selection directly on selection plane. Select the third selection plane. The internal face is selected. Let's switch to wireframe view to better see the internal faces. Next, use the extend to limits to extend the face selection to all internal faces of the central part. Apply internal pressure to the selected faces. Next, select the face to apply fix support. Turn on the face selection filter on the selection toolbar and select the face. Insert fix support. Oh, we forgot to select the face on the opposite side of the axle. No problem, we can fix this very quickly. Select Fix Support in the tree. 
Then select face that you would like to add to the scoping of the fixed support. Click plus sign on the drop down to add the face. Some of the tasks can be automated for more efficient processing by reducing manual work and human error. Meshing in this example is automatic and fast, but coarse. If we want specific mesh size on a certain part, we can insert sizing under mesh. Let's say we want mesh of 10 mm on the top plate of the central part. Insert sizing and select the part under geometry. Define 10 mm as the element size. Do you know what is the circle with the plus sign next to the mouse pointer? That is visual representation of the element size of 10 mm. Isn't that convenient? Let's see what's going on under the connections branch in the tree. If we expand it, you can see that ANSYS Mechanical detects and creates contact pairs automatically. Generate automatic connection on refresh is set to yes by default. The automatic contact is bounded for all contact pairs and it can be modified by the user. The contact names can be renamed based on the definition to incorporate the names of the parts that are coming into contact for easy contact identification. It is always a good practice to inspect the automatically created connections. In this example, you can see that mechanical created contacts between bolt shanks and the holes, which is not allowed in the bolt pretension analysis. Contact body view shows only bodies that are coming into contact, with contact side in red and target side in blue. It is very helpful display when we are inspecting connections. The contact body views can be synchronized with geometry view for the easy visualization of the selected contact. Under contact range, the tolerance slider can be set to 75. This will create more tight contact detection. Next, we will delete all previously automatically defined connections by shift and left mouse click and delete. Next, create new automatic connections that will respect contact tolerance of 75 by right mouse click on the contact branch and create automatic connections. Notice that in this case, we don't have connections between bolts, shanks and holes anymore. In this assembly, not all connections should be bounded. By highlighting contacts in the tree and click on the worksheet view, a list of defined connections is available for user to review. We can change the contact type by first filtering the model tree by name and remove filter. Notice that all the branches that have bolts in the name are filtered out from the tree. Now we can select three remaining bounded connections all at once and change the type to no separation. Remove the tree filter by clearing the text box and pressing enter key. Let's see how we can apply bolt pretension to the multiple bolts at once. The perfect tool for this is Object Generator. The name selection of the faces where the pretension is applied need to be created first. Right mouse click on the bolt group on the outline tree and hide bodies outside group to just show bolts on the graphic screen. Using the mouse wheel, you can zoom into one bolt. Select face as a selection filter in the selection toolbar and select the face on the bolt shank where the bolt pretension will be applied. Right mouse click and create name selection. Give the name for the name selection, pretension face top for the bolts that are connecting the top plate and the center part of the assembly. Turn on apply geometry items of same size and type to select all the cylindrical faces of the same size at once. In the name selection worksheet view, you can see the criteria based on which the name selection is created. Select one of the faces on one bolt where the bolt retention will be applied. Do right mouse click, insert bolt retention. Define preload in the first load step and lock in the second. With the first bolt pretension highlighted in the tree, click on the automation in the main toolbar and click on the object generator. 
In the object generator, set the graphical selection to pretension based top name selection that we created previously. This will use original bold pretension load as a template and generate multiple new loads corresponding to each bolt in the chosen name selection. Next, we will show you how to use drag and drop feature for easy pre-processing and post-processing. This trick works on objects that are scoped to other objects in the model tree. For example, sometimes the finer mesh in the contact area is necessary, so you can drag and drop contact from connections to mesh in the tree and contact sizing will be inserted in the tree automatically. If you have a joint in the model, you can drag and drop joint to the static structural branch and joint load will automatically be inserted in the tree. In some cases, bolts are modeled as beam connections, especially for the large assemblies with a big number of bolts. You can drag and drop beam connections to the static structural branch and bolt pretensions will automatically be inserted in the tree, which is very convenient and efficient way to apply bolt pretension. The drag and drop feature is useful in post-processing as well. In our example, once we got the solution, we can drag and drop fixed support from static structural branch to the solution branch in the tree and get reaction force. Also, by dragging and dropping the bolt pretension from static structural branch to solution branch, the bolt pretension probe will be inserted automatically. Other ANSYS productivity tools that can help in pre-processing and post-processing are Worksheet View and Viewports. We can use the Worksheet View under Geometry to verify material assignment. Under Connections, the Worksheet can be used to verify contact settings. Using Worksheet under Analysis Settings to check the solver settings. Under Solution, Worksheet is used to define user-defined results. Multiple viewports can be used to show different results for the review. The options are to display results on one, two horizontal, two vertical, or four viewports. We already mentioned contact body view. It can be used in combination with viewports when you are defining connections. So let's summarize. In this video, we demonstrated how to use some of the tools that will make you more productive in using ANSYS Mechanical. We discussed selecting different geometric entities, automating tasks, using drag and drop feature, working with multiple viewports, and using worksheet view. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. To find more about other topics, check our channel for more how-to videos and visit ansys.com courses. See you next time!